was that the last ride was that the last ride where it's gonna have a new home and right so what do i buy what do you think i'm gonna buy if i like jesus Christ, dude just tell us the hell you're gonna buy yeah i hear you hear you loud and clear oh wow got a little tremor oh that's actually like sandpaper what is that all about yeah the tremor package interesting all right let's go see if my buddies are inside here patiently waiting for the ice man to show up their day see there was my car at work shouldn't i just bought that one i mean that is a nice looking car i'll just buy that how about that idea huh interesting Oh, no Dennis. Okay, there they are. I was going to see my friend Dennis. All right, here we are. Here we are. What are we going to do? Hey, let's buy the white Mustang. No, let's buy this nice Beamer. That'd be pretty cool, right? Let's pick up the Beamer. What is it that I've never been able to cross the bridge and buy a Beamer? Why is that? Look, well, there's one reason why. <laughs> 125 grand. Woo! Woohoo! Wow! Uh oh. Wait a second. This truck's running. What is this here? What is this here? It's a Bronco Wild Track. Um, wow. Wow. That had one of these before? Wow. Wait a second. Yeah. Hey, how about this idea? How about going down this? path once again do i do it do i go for another two-door bronco wild track that i it's the carbonized gray and they are discounting this which that's pretty cool they better be that's what they're showing their internet but here it is so i had a yellow one of these that i ordered the cyber yellow and i waited close to two years to get it to only turn around and um, give it back to them, and they paid me ten grand uh, back in the summer of like 2022 to give it back, and that's what I did. So let's get inside here and let's see the build date. That's in a November baby, but you know at the same time, I think I really think the four door. What's crazy is the four door Bronco is the same price as. The two door. The two door is the same price as the four door. So let's go over here. And well, this is a little bit more, but you just telling the kid. I think, see, the long term, I think the four door is the better truck. But the kid, not so much. So what's my sales guy doing? Let's get in the truck, get warmed up. It's cold. There's the ember blue that I didn't get. Oh, there he is right there. So he's on the job. He's on the job. He's always on the job. When's he not on the job? All right, so let's get in here and get this thing toasty warm for us. And, uh... Burr. Burr, 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 burr. And, yeah, if I had this vehicle, I have. I had a yellow one. Same color interior, I think, too. So, I mean, this is a great product, though. I mean, the Ford Bronco, it's such a great product. It's really cool. Has he got it? I think you got it. So here we go. Another adventure on another day with Mr. Derek by my side. And uh, it's cold, isn't it? Burr! It's cold. Ah, how do you make that? There you go. You got it. Cool. All right. So this is manual. All right. Manual. This, you know, I know the vehicle, but I don't because I now have a Bronco. Raptor, which is a whole different animal. And when's the last time you rode one of these? Two door. Two door probably Tom's. And then uh, he got a. So my sales guy, Derek, right here, ordered one. He ordered four door. He just loves it. Yeah. What a Badlands? All right. Outer Banks, yeah. So as always, let's do the drive down the line. Oh, yeah. Do we drive down the line? Make sure. See, for my daughter, I was really telling her she should get a four door. She didn't want a four-door, but the four-door and two-door anymore are the same price. You, you realize that? Same price. I mean, and so in so many ways, 
I mean, a two-door, I think, is cool, but it has no room. There's, no room. There's just no room, man. Put your seats down. I mean, it, but it, yeah, but I mean, that's a jumper seat back there. So these are seats, they just lay down. They don't, like, fold down into the floor. So you always have the seat. Challenge of that seat back there. So it's not really the greatest of the design. So now, where are the rest of the Bronco Broncos? <laughs> Up here. Right. Because you have, like, a... Azura, Azura, Azura Blue, or whatever. Azura Blue? You did on your internet. Alright, here you Right there it is. Oh, yeah, right there. See, that's the same price as this. So, I'm blown away you know, at the kid. Now, on the you know, the internet, these are all discounted. You know that, right? I mean, you know, so I'm only hoping this is going to be a surprise. We're walking in the door and Tom says, no, man, these things got ADM on them. These things are MSRP. I'd be like, are you kidding me? See, I just think, I so feel like that's the better package. I mean, I really do. I just think this is such, because it's a bigger vehicle. It has so much more to offer. And in the, in the back area is bigger. I mean, there's just so much more that you gain out of this four-door vehicle. And once again, it's really, it's really the same price. It's the same. It's freaking. Look here. 66. Hey, roll your window up. Let's see how much this one is, Mr. Derek. So this one is 65. Look, it's, there's that same price. I, just, I, I really think this is what I should buy. I just think long run, man. I mean, long run, the kid likes this look, but that. She has other cars that got four doors. She has other no, she doesn't. doesn't. She doesn't. There's no. Nothing. Two door dually. What about your cars? If you want a four door car, I just to... sold it. My charger. No, I'm about the trucks. Get a, get a big oh, she don't want to drive the big truck. She doesn't like hey, driving F1 big F1 trucks. F1. Nah, she doesn't like those. I'm just telling you that. I would so much rather do a deal than that. All right, here we go. Change of plans. Change of plans. You take a picture of it. All right. Now we're making sense. I am feeling so much better about this vehicle than this two-door. And I'm so glad my daughter has come to senses and realizes this is the better package. This is the better deal. This is the way to go. And, the, and, the, and the, it's like an $800 difference in price. It's like, forget that. And those things here, I had the two-door. Maybe I had the two-door out there. God bless you. I'm glad you're having fun. They are too small. There's just no room. When you go to the back seat here to get in and out, it's just, yeah, wah, blah. Um, the back area, sorry. So 65, 935. Let's see if I'm embellishing your line, everybody here, but the back windows sticker, 65, 935, 66, 440. So I just said, it's, it's borderline. It's a $500, $600 difference, if that. I really like the way they already put the roof rails on it. Now, those will probably make some noise. Let's pull it out. And brr, it is cold. Danger is, I'll say this thing's all good enough for me. And look at this electronic seats. So, this has electronic seats. Oh my gosh. Everything about this car has so much more sense. And I really think my, my wife will love this colorist vehicle. So, let's pull it out. And not get hit. I gotta get a tag on it. We gotta drive it. These these Bronco Wild Tracks are such great packages. And I've talked about this many times on my channel. And if you think you have to buy a Bronco Raptor, I mean trust me, you'll be very, very, very happy in a wild track package. And you'll be 40 grand, you'll be 40 grand richer. Because now they're starting to discount these vehicles. So yes. Oh, now you have to finally have the digital temperature thing that they took away. That's another really cool thing. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So I'm here yesterday. I'm on a mission to buy a, a Glacier a gray truck. So does this pop out? I thought it did. I don't know. I thought it did. I guess it doesn't. That's kind of strange. Let's see. All right, so the steering wheel, that was just really, really tight. 
So you go to the back seat here, and this is what you have to look at. See, this is a propped up back seat. This has a frame under it, okay? So when you put this seat down here, like this here, then this kind of does lay down flush with the actual, to a degree, I don't even to waste this guy's way because he was going on through. And so when you come over here in the back end, look at the, uh, there you go, another GT Mustang. Nice. Robber Blue. So you look at how big this storage area is. It's massive in comparison. So you come over here to the two door, and I just showed you this four door, it actually has electronic. Um, seat and your um, lumbar support which that's really nice and electronic okay but since this vehicle here you have to get in the, into the back jumper seat it can't they don't want an electronic it takes too long for everything to move around so I guess you get your lumbar support here with this but you got to pull this forward to get in the back and then crawl in the back I can't even it's not even doing that for me right now, but but then the back seat, these are jumper seats. This doesn't have that frame. So you're sitting on the you're sitting on the uh on the floor with a seat. And then the back end, right here, you look here, the back is just nothing in comparison. When we come up here, I mean in my eyes, you've got at least a third more of space so I just think this is definitely the way to go and it's crazy to even think that from a two-door to a four-door wow so he's calling me all right come on come on is that the right decision is that the right decision I so think that is the right decision versus, hey man, how are you? I brought you another car to take pictures of the, the white Mustang. So instead of buying the F450, yeah, badass, but come on, come on. Hey, why don't you get some more keys, man? Would you quit stealing cars, man? One last week, you just got out of jail, man. Come on. Just can't beat the habit, can he? Sorry, here we are. Exciting. Even though this would be now my fifth. Bronco. Bronco. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. I bought one from you, the one yellow Cyberline. I bought one from Sterling. I bought a third Bronco one. Raptor. The November of last year. No, the, the cactus gray brand new one you got in November of last year. Okay, so that's three. That was three. And then I sold it, came back and bought a fourth Bronco, the black used one. Today, this would be number five. Five. They had three here and one at Sterling. Basically. Right, right. Yeah. In fact, we ordered one. Yep. Used one. And then you paid me ten grand to give it back. Yeah. Along with my electric truck. Yeah. In the good old days. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, wow. So now Derek is so funny. He is a sales guy here, and he didn't even tell me he bought a nice Bronco. Yeah, and he and he's and he's and he Personal is like. Problem. Oh, I just God. never realized that when you go to this sport mode in this vehicle, <laughs> it becomes a whole new animal. Another animal. It's a whole new animal. With no, so, no mods. At right, all. right. Imagine it's, you put an air take, exhaust, and right. you put it in a sport mode. This thing here, I tell people all the time, the wild track package, bang for the buck, kills the Raptor all day long. I mean, for the for the average person they're going to use this for, more than enough fun. I mean, do you just love yours? Love it. I mean, I, that's what I tell you. I was like, you know, if you have the budget to get a Raptor, go buy one. Right. But at the end of the day, are you going to be smiling in this? You will be. Yes. I mean, and that's why, if you remember that deal last year, I I walked away from that deal. I really had to think about that deal for that Raptor. Yeah. I just couldn't come to closure that it made any sense until I figured I could drive it for six months Four, and seven. sell it. Four it put. Sasquatch package on every last one of them. Right. You just shouldn't have you shouldn't have a Bronco without the Sasquatch package. Why right. put a regular Bronco with the wheel with the crappy wheels and you go lift it and everything right. else? You put right. those blistin shocks that come from uh, uh, specially designed first of all, 
for the Bronco. Two, list is like one of the number one shots in the world. Well, we keep in mind too, there's a wild track one one step above the others with that new Haas package, yeah. right? Yeah. So this is actually a little more refined package over the over it, what yeah. is it the Badlands or the uh, so it's what would be the step below the wild track. Uh, that would be the wild track would be it's the highest level besides the Outer Raptor Banks. Outer Banks, Outer Banks. Which, which you have yeah. that's what I got yeah so but can you get a, a uh, can you get the Sasquatch package on the Badlands um, I think you see. can yeah but, yeah, but it usually starts like. pricing what people usually do when they buy these things it, they start pricing themselves out into a wild track package. Yeah, be, well, pricing themselves right into it. Yeah, right. That's what I mean. Right, right. Yeah, they don't, because for, for a figure, well, if they really want all that, start putting them in the outer banks. So they right. take the outer banks. Is, you can still get it, but you, you're losing so much stuff. That's for a guy who has no interest in any kind of technology. He just wants to, right. to ride in the outgrowth of yep. Right. So Sasquatch in the Badlands. Exactly. All right. So now, got all the get all this technology, all the different screens, all this stuff here. What's the basement? Base so, uh, say what now? The basement Bronco is the, the Badlands is a luxury. Yeah, yeah. You can't get a satisfaction package in the Badlands. That's the that's the luxury. Oh wow. Yeah. You can't. You can't. They only got the regular. So these guys are getting the. Best. All right. You have to. You know, the, the up wheel, upgrade the wheels, lift it, whatever, right. to make it become a side squat. Right, right. So, but everybody else, everybody, all the other models can get the uh, side squat back. How many miles you got in yours? I got 2,900. You got yours like in April, May, May, right? You got it, no, I got uh, back to order it in May. When uh, did you get it? I got it in August. Oh, okay. Yeah. He didn't even tell me. I He's just too much information, issues, you know. There's too much. So much. He got married. More priorities, right? Yeah. Just, just all that stuff going, stuff going on. Yeah. His Probably son's issues. son's modeling out there. We're gonna beat him on his income eventually. Young guys, like, hey, dad, I just made a million dollars this year. What'd you make, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> modeling, looking pretty, right? Right. <laughs> Right. You'd be like, where's my share? I helped you make it look pretty, yeah, buddy. Sweat. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, it's, it's factual. His That's son, it. it's, it's his son fashions uh, outerwear, right? Yeah. 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 And that's like, is that like his... More photography, more... Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, that's cool. Yeah. It's really neat. So, uh, if anybody sees a picture of him on the, uh, on, you know, what would it be? The internet, magazines, brochures, probably, all that stuff. Probably going to be more print. Yeah. You can see him. Right, with different ones. The clothing line, stuff like that. Yeah, like something like that, modern clothes. Right, right. Yeah, um, that's pretty cool. Cologne. Right, right. You can be that guy, he's walking through the mall. Yeah. With his shirt like half off. Yeah. Like, you know, cologne. Right. It's going for the fashion. That, the young guy, yeah. the hip look or whatever, yeah. right? Yep. The generation look. All right, so. Exactly. so it's called Azura Blue, right? Like my. Azura Blue, yeah. Azura Blue, just like my Power Boost. Wow. New color for, uh, uh, for, yeah. I don't even think I can remember a color this, like this. Usually I can see what they mixed. This is like a, like a brand new mixture. Right. Color. Right. Maybe, t maybe take a little bit of the, uh, what's the one at, back in the 60s? Blue. Baby blue. Yeah, I know you're talking about right. Yeah. I call it the creamery blue. Yeah, the tinted, cream blue. Tint it up a little bit. But right. It's all it's like. All go back around. Oh, yeah. Right. Now, this is a 2023 or 2024? I think it's 23, right? I think it's 23. Yeah, I don't think 24 is around there. Yeah, the times have changed. Yeah. Where you can go buy a Ford Bronco from Coons, from, I call it the Asbury yeah. Coons Ford Baltimore. Uh, and you can get a discount on your... Uh, Bronco. Is that right or wrong? That's absolutely correct. You go to the website, you'll see that their discount. Six point. more left for Christmas. Oh, wow. Yeah, six more Broncos left. Yeah. Right. yeah. I think this is the nicest package of all, though. I, think I like the color of this. I like, but, the, but what I want to do is get on the highway, yeah. and I want to see those that roof rack starts making a lot of noise. Okay. That usually happens, you know, if you know what I mean. So I'm just like, the, I'm glad the kid came to senses. Now, see, you know about 
the previous models, Don't 22 have didn't have a digital, yeah. and a lot of people were upset about that. Yeah, they didn't like I that. I like this. It's great. My Yours has it, right? It. Yeah, she has a heated seats. I got everything here. Just I don't have the, it's not a wild track. Right. Um, seats are identical to mine. Adapt, you have Dapper Cruise? You have the Dapper Cruise. Love that. Right. Absolutely love it. I'm going to use it when I go down to North Carolina for Christmas Saturday morning. Do that Dapper Cruise on it. Oh, put nice. It, put it in eco mode. Yeah. Two wheel high. Right. What do you see on your mileage? Uh, <laughs> I put it in sport mode all the time. It's so much fun around here in sport mode. Yeah, but you're a lot but, of traffic. Uh, you're a lot of traffic. I mean, you're not. 19, you're not so much. Go ahead. Hey, 19, 19, 19, uh Really? Yeah, about nineteen on an eco wow. mode and two 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 wheel high. Wow. I figured going about seventy two. Wow, that's yeah. pretty impressive. Pretty good. Yeah, look at this. This thing's so confident. Right on gas. I mean, do you feel how confident this thing is? Uh, it just uh, doesn't like it does not I like take roll at sixty miles an hour for an SUV to do that. A lot right. of SUVs can't do that. Right. Seats. Body roll. An F one fifty Lightning can't do that. Unless you, yeah. Unless you <laughs> with I, that I battery the, pack. You know what I mean? Uh, this yeah. curve right here, seven ninety five. It's it's forty five miles an hour curve. Right. And I take it at sixty, not even blinking. Yeah, yeah. You see cars just back off because <laughs> it's like they start to roll. Right. And I'm just like, am I just doing that? And that's when I first got it. I'm like, wow, I think I got something that really 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 it exceeded your exceeded made, your expectations yeah, like this thing here right ford really made a great vehicle right it really but it was very aggravating because it took so long to oh, get it so aggravating it's about uh, between the release of the the, the luxury vehicles the, the broncos that's all it's just technology but it's just so aggravating because you couldn't you didn't have any to sell during the prime time yeah. pandemic when everybody was just buying something I mean, if you could take all of them to make an inaugural launch of a vehicle that is from the past, the Bronco name is from the past in the 60s, to come out with it and not fumble the ball, uh, was, uh, Ford did a great job of not fumbling the ball with the Bronco, only bringing it out and not production-wise. Uh, to right. keep up with demand was the issue, but just, you know, the environment played a lot in that part, too. Now, it's not just... They wanted to. It is it had its hands tied on a lot of things. People don't realize that to produce a car, it's about I think the number is like thirty companies. You gotta look at every screw, some family business make the plastic screws on this thing. And they couldn't get parts to make right. those screws. Right. So they that backs up everything. Right. So it's not just, you know, Ford just sitting around, uh, we're not going to make them because, you know, they, they didn't want to want to piss the public off. Right, right. But it's a, it's a lot goes into building a car. It's not just everything's not right at the in the backyard of De Dearborn. <laughs> and they can run out back and go get the screws. Right. It's family, you know, 50 employees, 100 employees, been small businesses around here that creates one car, you right. know. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, so it's a lot. You know, but now we're back on track a little bit, I think. Um, we'll see. I'm just excited. Supposedly, there's going to be a hybrid Bronco. Oh, but, nice. Yeah. And that's a... I might trade mine for that. Yeah. If it's... Um, if the mileage is good. If right, the right. mileage is really good. If it pushes it up to high 20s, yeah, I think I'm going to do it. Right. Well, he's, what I think about is like the Expedition definitely needs a hybrid. That power boost, uh, power, power boost, boost totally. The, Expedition? the power boost totally ruined me wanting to buy an Expedition. Because uh, when I remember I drove that thing, it was just so lame. Because I've been riding around on my power. So I ordered a special order a Platinum um, Expedition, and when it came in, I just was like, not, not exciting because I've been driving around the power boost for I think just like Torch City, and then that thing felt just lazy and. Yeah, well. if you put the power boost, I mean, if Ford would just, just come, it should have like a department that goes around the country and just ask salespeople, what do they do? And then, they, you know, be right. the number one brand in the world, I guarantee you. Number right. One well, brand in the world. when I talk about that on my channel and how yeah. it's interesting how the big manufacturers didn't really ask the common yeah. man yeah. if he wants an electric vehicle. So, <laughs> and I think that if they ever did their research, they'd find out, sadly, that most don't want it. 
because they don't think it's really the answer at this point. Yeah. Too many things. But instead, they just mass market the damn thing, yeah. and they build a hell of them. And now, how many lightning trucks do you have on your lot? What's your guess? Oh, I would say probably about 30. 30? Yeah. Just lightning trucks. What about lightning my geese? Trucks. My geese, I probably have about, yeah, about 30. So you have 60 electric vehicles. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in the Cunes organization? No, here. No, I'm saying oh, in the Cunes, what would you guess? What would be just a guess? I mean, we got 30, 60 here. Yeah. Let's say 40 to be saying. Okay. Here of uh, F 450s, Lightnings, and uh, Machis. I would say probably 100. The Between Sterling all and Falls Church and Silver Spring. Woodbridge. And a Woodbridge. I'd say about 100, 110. Everything. I think I you're low. I think I'm low. I think you're probably at 150. We're more aggressive as far as like Oregon. Okay. You know? So I, I don't know what they do. I know Sterling might be like. So what will change besides the gas crisis or the $6 gas? What do you think will change the person to come buy an electric vehicle? I mean, what's your gut instinct tell you? Just discounting it or what would you think? I mean, the public is really news heavy. So it's going to be, got to be the gas. That's the, the only thing. For the media future. Um, yeah, yeah. The, the gas has to spike five five dollars plus. But now has Ford really stopped building the uh, no the uh, light? I just got like three or four the other day. So you do you hear I mean, the rumors are they stop production? Probably stop production, but that doesn't mean they're going to stop building in the future. So, right. Uh oh, I have a call. So.